there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. I wanted to make sure to mention Happy Tuesday, 2-22 of 2022, if you happen to be watching this video on the day it gets released. For those of you who have been wanting a little more painting video and a little less life stuff, this is the video for you. While I'm still not going to be completing any finished paintings, these are still really pretty preliminary sketches. This week is all about painting. So come along and I hope you enjoy. Good afternoon. I spent the morning fixing that uh, sketch back there. I think it's better. I'm going to do a before video shot and an after and I don't know. You guys tell me. I think it's better. So I'm pretty happy with it now. Um, I obviously couldn't just leave well enough alone. Um, it just it needed to be fixed. So at any rate, um, I am now going to continue on with a couple more of these sketches and see where they go. So I'm going to try not to interject too much and make this a chatty little video, just more of an enjoyable sit back and enjoy the painting process. But in case you are not new around here or new to the channel rather, I just wanted to interject and let you know I'm an encaustic painter, which basically means I paint with beeswax and Damar resin which is why I have this pancake griddle out here and why I am melting my paint onto it. So as always, if you have any questions about my process, definitely leave them down below in the comment section, but I'm gonna try really hard and just let you sit back and enjoy the video.
All right, I think this is where I'm going to leave you this evening. Let's get the second one is getting um, fairly close. I still have quite a few um, little details and things like that to fill in, but um, we'll get to that later in the week sometime. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I've done, get you some close-ups of this so you have a little bit more better idea. And um, I think, so tomorrow I have a um, doctor's appointment in downtown. Um, so I'm thinking it's probably gonna take most of the day. So I don't know how much painting I'll get done, but at any rate, I will be picking you guys back up sometime this week to hopefully finish this sketch. All right, here you go. Here is the sketch itself. And uh, this here all needs a lot of work. Um, this area, kind of the foreground, background rather area, this area I think is coming along. Still, I still wanna add in some details and things like that to these trees. Uh, this needs a ton of work here. And yeah, same thing here. I wanna add in some details, but um, if the camera would focus, there it goes. <laughs> I think it's coming along pretty good. And yeah, there you go. Some more close-ups. And you could see some of that color kind of poking through all the different layers of the encaustic paint. So at any rate, we will see you sometime this week. Good afternoon. Um, for you, it will have only been a few seconds, but um, I spent basically the morning downtown at one of the specialist doctors that I go to. Everything is fine, so um, that's good. But um, the, basically the entire day is gone. Um, I have just a couple hours, and so this studio is a mess. So I'm going to um, insert a couple shots from um, the downtown area and um, thought you guys, you know, I don't know, might want to see it. But um, at any rate, I'm going to insert a couple uh, videos into here and then I am going to get this studio cleaned up. I should also say um, thank you to all of my specialists and team of doctors. Every time I go into downtown, which is usually just once or twice a year, I am reminded how lucky we are to live in an area that has such a great hospital and a doctor system. So I don't think any of them watch these videos, but um, just wanted to say thank you to my doctors because they are great. And now moving on to cleaning this studio. It is a big, huge mess. Okay, this area is a much <laughs> better. Even got the sink over there cleaned off. So much better here. I just now have, try to spin around without making you dizzy, this whole area here to clean off. There's, this one is not nearly as bad. There's just a lot of little odds and ends that need picked up. So that one, the desk is cleaned, and two, I can easily find the things again. The tools again, I should say.
Now that the majority of the studio is picked up and cleaned up, I want to clean out these wax writers because I'm going to be obviously, well, not obviously, but I'm going to be using them again and I want to make sure that they're cleaned out. So I use brush cleaner, also known as soy wax, and it comes in these little wax chips, if you will, and I just stick them into the vessels exactly where I would stick the wax with these writers. And then I write on a scrap piece of paper until the wax runs clear. And voila, the writers are now all cleaned out. I think this is where I'm going to leave you tonight. It is a little bit past dinner time and I am hungry. So I'm gonna pick you guys back up in the morning. The studio is much cleaner, much happier with it. So this way tomorrow morning, I can come up here and get started right away on working on finishing up that sketch. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, back up in the studio and ready to work on this sketch. Hopefully I will get most of it done today. I'm thinking that will happen, but you never know. So I wanted to try to show you how absolutely teeny, teeny, tiny this little encaustic writing tool is. The tip is really, really small and literally three drops of encaustic paint, like just drops off of a paintbrush fill up this entire little vessel. So you can imagine how small these lines are. Um, it's very, very, precise and very small lines. I'm not sure how often you would use it necessarily on a giant big painting because these lines are so tiny, but um, we're gonna find out <laughs> not sooner than later or rather later than sooner. No, <laughs> anyways, we're gonna find out several videos later, I'm sure um, when I start painting these big paintings, but um, it is a very, very small tip. Moving on to the larger encaustic writer, 
And you'll see as I start to paint with it that it is definitely a larger size tip. However, you can still get some great detail in it. And the nice thing about this is I can actually kind of put bigger chunks of wax into that vessel. And so it holds more wax and goes a little bit longer or farther, um, even though it is a larger tip. So at any rate, back to the video. Hope you're enjoying. I wanted to pause the music one more time and kind of let you know where I'm going with this. So I did some incising of a drawing. In other words, I scraped into the wax and did some fine lines of a drawing that I did, uh, gosh, several videos back now. And again, I'm still ironing out the concept of this whole painting series, which is why I'm not painting on big panels yet just trying to convey a concept, um, an idea, and I'm not quite ready to completely share that yet, but I do believe this series is going to go in a slightly less realistic avenue, more of an abstract idea uh, behind the paintings, I think. Um, they're somewhat realistic, but they're also abstract, so I'm not sure exactly what you would call that, but um, abstract realism. I don't know. At any rate, um, I are, I do hope you are enjoying these videos and kind of the behind the scenes process of me thinking through this series. So here I'm just rubbing in some oil stick and then wiping the majority of it back off with some uh, actual vegetable oil just to get the majority of it off and reveal only the lines. All right, I think I'm going to call this sketch done. Get a couple close-ups here. I still really love these encaustic writers. They are just really wonderful. <laughs> um, I did go back in and cover up some of the etching and the incised lines here. I just thought it was too much with the rest, so I covered it up and kind of put it more in the background again. But... There you have it. I believe, like I said, this one is done. So uh, two things before I leave you for this evening. Um, one, I am trying to get a bunch of different camera angles for you guys. So hopefully when I go to edit this, they, the, all those angles will come out. Um, and I'm hoping you're enjoying the different camera angles. Um, I, I would love to want to have a studio assistant to just come around and film all these different camera angles and to love to have a different camera like two different cameras so I can have one set up at one angle and then the overhead one I only have this camera so um that's a little bit tricky but I'm trying to get more camera angles and do a little bit more of a storytelling behind the creating of these paintings so hopefully that's coming across in the video I said I haven't edited any of it yet so who knows how it's gonna come out but hopefully you're enjoying that which kind of leads me into my other um, topic I guess <laughs> which is uh, the amount of work I'm putting into things so um, when I'm filming and doing things like that it's taking me about twice as long not to mention editing um, you know taking the camera down getting a different angle putting the camera back up etc etc and then of course these sketches are taking days to do uh, one sketch. And while I know that seems like a lot of work and it is, and it's probably not for everyone, it's kind of where I wanted to go with this series, really put in a lot of effort, 
a lot of work into it before I went to the big panel so that I had a really good idea of what materials I wanted to use and also that I could make sure that the concepts are coming through on these sketches, which I think they're starting to get there. So I'm gonna, again, continue to do sketches for probably the next several videos, who knows. But um, again, I just, I really do appreciate you guys being here and coming along for the ride, even though it may not be the most exciting. Hopefully it is. All right, I do believe this is where I am going to leave this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed the painting and sketching. There's going to be a lot more to come. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button, please. It really does help me out. Also, if you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, that is always very, very much appreciated. As always, thanks so very, very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon and bye for now.